Hello, hi, a very, very happy good evening. So this is Krishna Veni and we've been talking about the story of biology. So welcome back. So I hope all of you are doing good. So thank you so much for joining my session even after your neat exam. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So thank you so much for joining from, to my session today as well. So today here we are the beginning of an end. So we're going to have paper discussion of neat exams. So especially biology we are going to discuss today. So yeah, so it's not a very new news, so it's a very old news, but yes, so we uh, got time to rest yesterday when the whole world outside was discussing neat people. So today we are going to discuss the paper, but it's okay, so I don't want to hurt all those who have not done well. Yes, so all of you got back to me personally saying, ma'am, I did this, I did that, it's okay, so please relax, that is what I would like to say. Uh, so irrespective of however your journey was yesterday it's okay just chill so many students ask me for a plan b plan a yes i am coming up with all your plans so i know the mental uh, emotions the mental trauma that the students are facing right now so the one who has done well also has a mental tension has to what will be the cutoff right yes so on the whole the overview the paper was easy you can actually expect 720 it's okay if you're not getting it's okay but yes the competition is pretty high the paper was pretty easy so in biology all the questions were from ncrt there wasn't a single question which was out of ncrt right yes so that's okay so on the whole the paper was an easy go so it wasn't tough so you can expect 720 on 720 so those who did well also are in a level of competition to say how much will i get where will i be it's okay so talking about the other category ma'am i screwed up chemistry and physics completely chill it's okay it's okay so it's not a do or die situation you still have time in your life so learn from your experience learn from your mistakes okay hi praveen a very very happy good evening so hello naveen happy good evening uh hi shubham sir welcome to our session so thank you so much for joining my session today guys um okay so physics was tough okay fine yes so yeah the only general uh, remarks or the reply that i got from student was ma'am bio was easy Ma'am, bio was easy. Yes, bio was very easy. So, irrespective of its botany or zoology, it was easy. So, physics was tough and it was unexpected. Okay, relax. So, all of us has a lot of opinions and um, each one has a, a different type of mental state right now. It's okay. It's okay, right? So, for all those who screwed up your exam very badly, yes, I have a solution for you because for every problem, there is a solution. Every lock has a key, so every problem has a solution, okay? Yes, I am coming up with a lot of sessions this week to give you plan A, plan B to help you decide what you want in life and move forward, okay? So relax, ma'am, now we don't want to look into the neat paper because we have screwed up badly. Ma'am, I am done, I did well, I don't want to discuss neat paper. Yes, I understand there are two categories of people and I stay in between. Uh, even I don't want to discuss neat paper because yeah, by now it's very old, right? So it's been 10 times since you have moved the pages up and down and still why do you want to uh, solve the paper? Let me tell you why we are doing paper discussion now. Hi Vinayak, so I guess you are new to my session. So thank you for joining. So please do like, share and subscribe. Hi Dharni, yes a very very happy good evening. Hi Kesha, okay. So Dharni is asking for NEET 2022, okay. So why are we doing paper discussion now? So like I told you, I never have the habit of checking the answers right after the exam. Never. Okay, you are Vinu. Okay, fine. How are you Vinu? How was your exam? Yes, the, all the others got back to me personally. How about you Vinu? Yes, how was your exam? Okay, so the world is done and dusted with neat and fresh. We are starting a session with paper discussion. Why to do it? So I know all of you are in a mental turmoil. Maybe you didn't read the question properly. Maybe you didn't understand. Maybe you were in a hurry. All that, it's okay. So now we are just here to just look back into the picture and laugh. Okay, yes. So we are going to highlight the beauty. So anytime in your school life where you're being thrown out of class and you cried so much, any time in life have you been humiliated and you were uh, really broken, right? And now when you look back, don't you feel it funny? Now when you look back, don't you feel it funny? Don't you laugh? 
oh that is how it was that is why i am here so that man that matter made me good yes all of you have some incidents like that so let's consider it like that so this is also one saw or one beautiful incident in your life so now we are just going to look back the pages and see how it was so we are also going to understand the irony of questions how simple it was okay yes so paper discussion is not done to hurt all your feelings who have made a mistake and yes it is not done to waste the time of those who have done really well it is just to look back at the memory right so always fresh memories are good so if you have a farewell in school we always talk about the good moments right for the first two three days so keep it like that so we are having a farewell to neat exam so we are looking back at the memories all right shall we go so we will solve as much as possible there is no uh, rule a hard and fast rule that we have to solve all the hundred questions as much as it goes we will continue okay yes ready for the game fine yes the questions were easy so how many how many questions we solved in genetics and the most easiest one came into picture right so it was really great looking at the paper so i was so excited looking at the paper so i guess even you guys had the same feeling so first let's look back at the memory of neat exam and then we'll go forward so tomorrow at 5 pm we are talking about plan a right so yes neat exam is done what are we going to do next so all of you must have plan a b and c so next three days we'll be talking about plan a plan b and plan c so please join me to know what kind of scope what kind of course what kind of decision you can make right okay so here we go so neat exam 2021 so the code the paper code that i am solving is p2 right so all of you have got different codes that's fine so now let's see so what kind of questions are here so mutations in plant cells so first we go with botany so botany comes first right okay so mutation in plant cells can be induced by so looking at the question itself don't you know what is the name of the chapter right so this is from mutational breeding mutational breeding comes under your strategies for enhanced breeding yes this is gamma rays very good so here we go next so question number 102 which of the following is an incorrect statement yes nuclear pore yes okay gamma so nuclear pores act as passages for protein and rna molecules in both directions between nucleus and cytoplasm mature sieve tube element possess a conspicuous nucleus and usual cytoplasmic organelles Microbodies can be present in both plants and animals. So, perinuclear space forms a barrier between the materials present inside the nucleus and that of cytoplasm. So, here the right, the incorrect answer is mature sieve tube do not have a nucleus. Do they have a nucleus? Yes, mature sieve tubes, do they have a nucleus? No, right? They use the nucleus from the companion cell right so i hope you remember so 103 so this is cross pollination so from the question it is clear it is cross pollination so cross pollination is done done by your xenogamy type yes we know right so question 104 so the factor that leads to founders effect is genetic drift what is founders effect the original population comes back that is because there is a drift in popular in genes right that is your genetic drift there is a drift in the genetic equilibrium so this is a part of your hardy weinberg principle so 105 so selaginella salvinella they belong to pteridophytes right so the right answer is they are heterosporous sorry heterosaurus nai heterosporous yes 106 the production of gametes in a the diagram like structure so we know this is your punnett square such an easy question which we never expected in your principles of inheritance right yes how many questions are out of ncrt there are no questions out of ncrt so all the hundred questions in biology including the ones you had options are straightforward from your ncrt okay yes so 107 di alpha stamens are found in so how do i how did i tell you to remember di alpha di alpha dicot so from the given which is di, which is dicot p so the right answer is p right okay 
So look at the uh, question. The questions are very, very easy. They are not out of context at all. So if at all you have fingertips with your NCRT, everything is easy, right? So cohesion, what is cohesion? Adhesion, surface tension. Yes, was the match the following easy? So how do you do the match the following? Yes. So here we go. So cohesion, mutual attraction between water molecules. So this is one. So adhesion, so attraction towards polar surfaces. So what is surface tension? More attraction in the liquid phase. And then you have guttation. So guttation is the loss of water in the liquid phase. So from here itself, you know how to eliminate the answer. So the option itself is between 1 and 2 because the D option is for sure. So then you do careful analysis. So the right answer is option 2. Right? So, gamma are present in which one? So, gamma comes under your liver warts, uh, which comes under bryophyta. Right? So, this is option A. So, this is option A. So, 110, a typical angiosperm in embryo sac at maturity? Aman says the paper level was easy, but the paper was tricky. Because the options are very close by, maybe because of that, Yes, how many we have? A typical angiosperm cell. So, it is 7 cell and 8 nucleate. Yes, this is option 2. So, question triple eleven. In spite of interspecific competition in nature, which mechanism the competing species might have evolved for their survival? So, this is resource partitioning. We had type of birds, right? Yes. So, 112. So, during purification, you add chilled ethanol to precipitate your DNA. Yes. So, 113, so DNA strands on a gel stained with ethidium bromide give you bright orange bands. This is from your biotechnology. So, 114, so which of the following algae produce cara green? So, cara green is produced by your red algae, right? Yes. Fine. So, plants follow different uh, pathways in response to the environment or phase of life. This is plasticity. So, you have different types of leaves in your buttercups. So, this is plasticity. So, are in the questions easy? How much time did we take to solve so much? So, which of the following plant is munitious? So, we know for sure papaya is not the answer, right? So, Markintia polymorpha. So, this is also not, we know where Markentia comes, right? So, two options are eliminated. So, Cycas carlinas is also eliminated because this is a gymnosperm, right? So, Chara is the one which is munitious, right? So, the site of perception of light in plants is leaf, right? Only leaves can take up light and accordingly supply it and hence you have photoperiod. So, here the right answer is option 1. 118, the amount of nutrients such as carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus and calcium present in the soil at any given time is known as your standing state. Not standing crop, standing state, right? So, now do the match. So, lenticels, they help in the exchange of gases. So, A is 3. So, there is only one option. Directly go for it, right? So, 45 minutes to solve bio, that's a fantastic time speed, very good. So, since you guys solved bio questions fast, you were able to have time for physics and chemistry, right? Good. So, moving forward, which of the following involves the ages of meiosis? Following stages of meiosis involve the division of centromere. So, this is your centromere, right? So, centromere is the one which holds the chromosome together. So, when does it split? Not in telophase, not in metaphase. It does during your anaphase, right? Yes. The first stable product of uh, carbon dioxide fixation in sorghum, this is a C4 plant. So, this is oxaloacetic acid, right? So, 22, which of the following statement is not correct? The pyramid of numbers in C is generally, pyramid of biomass is generally inverted. Which of the following statement is not correct? In C is upright. So, this is this is wrong. So, this is not upright. So, this is inverted. So, which of the following statement is not correct? So, yeah. So, this is option 4, right? Yes. So, 123. Which of the following algae contains mannitol and reserve mannitol as the reserve food material? That's 
the brown algae so here your brown algae is ectocarpus so this is dear friends please eat learn and sleep so ectocarpus comes under your brown algae right so 124 when gene targeting involves amplifying gene it is attempted to a uh, molecular diagnosis right yes so this is okay when gene targeting involves gene amplification it is attempted to an individual's tissue to treat a particular disease. So, this is gene therapy. So, this is option D. So, 125, Christe is the infoldings of microorganism. So, A is 3. So, only one answer is right. So, we go to option 4. So, yeah. 126, protoplast is this. So, A is 2. So, only one answer is right. So, here the option is 3. Match the followings are pretty easy, right? So, how, what is right here? So, replication, transcription, translation and protein. So, option D is right. Yes. So, 128. So, R stands for your respiratory losses. So, this is 1. So, 129. So, when the centromere is situated in the middle, exactly like this, exactly in the middle. So, it is your metacentric chromosome. So, these are the type of question that comes and tell the unit of life. So, all those who are willing to give a neat exam in 2022. So, please take a note of how the questions have come. The plant hormone used to destroy wheat 2,4-D. So, you should be blessed in plant growth and development. You do not have any confusing questions, right? So, 131. So, which of the following is not a secondary metabolite? Of course, amino acids and glucose are not, right? So, amencilism is when one species is harmed, the other is neutral. So, 133, which is not an application of PCR, purification of uh, isolated protein. So, which of the following is the correct sequence? Denaturation, annealing and extension, right? Next one, 135, cells with active division capacity are your meristematic tissues. So, A is 2. So, only one option is right. So, directly you can mark. So, 136, which of the following statement is correct? So, some of the organisms can fix atmosphere, not in, uh, in this. So, fusion of two cells is karyogamy. So, this is a... Uh, Fusion of two cells is plasmogamy. Fusion of two nucleus is karyogamy. So, fusion of protoplast between two mutile and non-mutile gametes is plasmogamy. So, this is the right answer. So, what is this? So, this is based on your exponential growth rate. So, this is option 3, right? So, in some members of which of the following plants, the pollen grain viability is for months. That is rosaceae, leguminaceae and solanaceae, right? So, again match the following. So, what does nitrococcus do? It converts your ammonia to nitride. So, A is 2. So, only one answer is right. So, you don't have to sit and solve so much. It's easily done. So, 140 S phase DNA replication. So, A is 4. So, since you have two options, we still go forward. Quiescent stage is the inactive stage. So, C is 2. So, option 4 is the right answer. Right? So, um, yeah, protein, peptide bond, unsaturated fat, okay, so nucleic acid, phosphodiester bond, we go for the easy one, so this is A is 4, okay, then C is 2, so this is the right answer, right? Ma'am, it's natural log, which question? No, E is exponential, right? No, no, it's not natural log. So, E stands for what there? E power. So, that is exponential, right? Yes, no, Keshav? You have marked it right. What is the doubt? So, match the column 1 with col uh, one with 2. So, 9 plus 1 is seen in Febese. So, this is A. So, A, 3. So, option 3 is the right answer. So, what is the role of RNA polymerase 3 in the process of transcription in eukaryotes? It helps in the, uh, it transcribes. So, 3 is tRNA, right? 1 is rRNA, 2 is mRNA, that is hnRNA. So, this is your tRNA, okay? Yes, I will cross check it. So, which of the following statement is incorrect? 
no i don't think it is uh, no please cross check once again keshav okay so which of the following statement is incorrect so cyclic photophosphorylation does not involve both so cyclic involves only ps1 right so 145 nowadays is it is possible to detect the mutated gene causing cancer by using radioactive probe why so the mutated gene does not appear in the photographic film as it has no complementary sequence with it okay yes so 146 dna fingerprinting involves the use of your satellite dna so which of the following statement is incorrect oxidation reduction uh, reactions produce proton gradient in respiration during aerobic respiration the role of our terminal oxygen is limited So in ETC, one molecule of NADH gives rise to two ATP. No, one NADH is equal to three ATP. Sorry, one NADH is two. Ah, uh, is two molecules is three molecules of ATP. One FADH is two molecules of ATP. So the incorrect statement is option three. Yes. So one forty eight. So PBR three twenty two plasmid has PST one. So if you see the PBR three twenty two plasmid, so your PST is in this region. So which has amphicillin resistant. So I am taking off this region to insert my beta galactosidase. So then what it will be? So it will not be able to confer amphicillin resistance to the host cell. So option B is the right answer. So identify the correct statement. So split gene is in eukaryotes, not in prokaryotes. In capping, methyl guanosine triphosphate is added to the five prime end, not three prime end. RNA polymerase binds with Rho factor to terminate the process of transcription. Yes. So this is the right statement. So the last question in your botany, question one fifty, select the correct pair. So, which is the correct pair? The cells of the medullary rays that form part of the cambial ring is your interfascicular cambium. So, you have bundles like this. So, the one that moves around is your interfascicular cambium. So, this is option A. So, this is option A. Okay? Yes. So, now we move to zoology. Yes. So, how was botany? So how long did we take? So I came to the class at five uh, five. Okay. So after all the talking, we started at five eleven, five twenty seven. We are done with solving botany. Wasn't it quick? Yes. Is our speed good? Yes. I trained you in speed. I trained you in uh, concept. I trained you in problem solving as well. So as much as we could do in biology, yes, I have trained you. So and yes, the output turned out to be really good because bio turned out to be very easy, right? So is that anyone who is expecting three sixty or three sixty in biology? Yes, anyone? Very easy. Yes, Naveen, I agree with you. So we go with this. Aspergillus niger produces your citric acid. So A is three. So direct answer, right? So moving forward, suckers and trichers is your intestinal juice. So receptors for sperm binding in mammals are present in zona pellucida because that is where your sperm interacts. So the fruit fly has eight chromosomes. So chromosome number does not change, so it remains eight, right? Yeah. So select the favorable conditions for oxyhemoglobin, high partial pressure of oxygen. The rest, everything is low. So this is option two. Right, one fifty-six. So, how many times I have taught you Animal Kingdom? Huh? So, Faisalia is your Portuguese man of war. So, Limulus is your living fossil. So, A is two. Okay. So, B is three. Fine. So, Ancyclostoma is your hookworm. So, C is four. So, this is the right option, right? So, Animal Kingdom, me, we got a very easy question. So, which stage of meiotic phase shows terminalization of chiasma? So, that is your diakinesis. One fifty-eight. If adenine is thirty, so how do you solve this? If A is thirty, then your T is also thirty. So, thirty thirty makes up sixty. So, the remaining forty is divided as twenty and twenty between these two. So here T is thirty, G is twenty, C is twenty. So this is option four, right? So partial pressure of alveoli. 
which is a uh, sorry partial pressure of oxygen and carbon dioxide so this is 104 and 40 so this is directly from your ncrt once again so 160 read the following statement so metagenesis is observed in ascai helminthes no echinodermates are triploblastic and coelomic animals that is right so roundworms have organ system body level true Complates are present in tenophores, they help in digestion, no. So this is fine, so B, C and E are right, so option 1 is the right answer. So in a cross between male and female for heterozygous for sickle cell. So sickle cell is autosomal recessive, right? So when I say the male and female are heterozygous, meaning they are carriers. So how many will be deceased? So A, 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 A. So, how many questions of this type we solved in class? So, how many is deceased? Only one. These two are carriers. This is normal. So, the answer is option D. So, 152, which of the uh, statements wrongly represents the nature of smooth muscles? So, smooth muscles, um, they do not have communication walls. Communication walls are present in your cardiac muscles. So, which one of the following belongs to family Mucidaceae? That is your housefly. So, moving forward, 164. In PCR, if high temperature is not given, which of the following that will be affected? That is denaturation. So, metamerism is seen in your annelida. So, comb plates in your tenophores, right? So, C is 2, right? Okay. So, A is 3, fine. So, this is the right option. Option 4, just you have to look at 2, right? Not everything. So, which of the following is an example of IUD hormone releasing LNG20? So, centriol undergoes duplication during the G2 phase, right? Sorry, centriol undergoes duplication during the S phase. Yes, that's right. So, which of the following characteristic is incorrect with respect to cockroach? Gastric cica is present between the foregut and the midgut, not between the midgut and the hindgut, right? So, next question, Dobson unit is used to measure your ozone. So, venereal disease are transfusion, infected mother to fetus and your, so only B and C are right, yes? So, next question, which of the following organism bears a... Uh, Hollow and pneumatic long bows, so it is your birds, right? Yes, so it is not orthinokinus, nephron or hemidactylus, right? So question 172, a person with AB blood group are called as universal recipient. So if a person with A blood group, he has A antigen. B blood group, he has B antigen. So these people do not have antibodies in their plasma. So option 1 is the right answer. The organelle which comes under your endomembrane system. In biology, one shot, I told you to go through endomembrane system, right? So endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi, lysosomes and vacuoles. So moving forward, a specific recognition sequence identified by the endo, uh, endonuclease is your palindromic nucleotide sequence that is the recognition sequence. So what is the, which of the following is incorrect? So drugs, resin is not a drug, right? So choose the correct option. In C, peptide is not present in Menshaur insulin, right? Insulin produced by RDNA technology has a C peptide, wrong. Proinsulin has a C peptide. So this is right. So A, B and D, sorry, A, C and D are right. Very, very easy. Incorrect question is also not tough. So this is the question I gave you in the last menti. So second full zoology menti, I had the same question, same type of options, right? Which of the RNA is not required for the synthesis of protein? SIRNA is not important. mRNA for proteins, tRNA for the process of translation, rRNA in ribosomes, right? So 179, which is not an objective of fortification of the crop, improve resistance to diseases. Erythroprotein is stimulated by JGA cells of the kidney. So for effective treatment of disease, early diagnosis is important. So that is done by your ELISA. So look how many you are getting from your biotechnology. So 183, so splinter of OD is present in the junction of hepatopancreatic duct and duodenum. So which is the only enzyme that has the capability to catalyze initiation, elongation and termination? 
DNA uh, in prokaryotes, DNA dependent RNA polymerase because we have initiation, termination, elongation only in your transcription and translation, not in replication. So, it's DNA dependent RNA polymerase. So, vasectomy, so that is removal of your vas difference. So, C is 3. So, this is your answer. So, vasectomy, so C is 2, sorry. So, this is the right answer. Option 4 is the right answer. So, 186, so um, this is a very easy one. So, vertebral column, cartilaginous joint. So, D1, okay. So, we have your cranium. So, this has fibrous joint. So, B is 3, okay. So, everything has fibrous joint. So, scapula is a triangular flat bone. So, A is 4. So, A is 4, D is uh, 3. So, this is the right answer, right? Okay. So, here we move forward. So, following are the statements with reference to lipids. So, lipids having only single bond are unsaturated fatty acids. So, lecithin is a phospholipid, right? So, arachidonic acid, uh, oh no. So, trihydroxypropane is glycerol. Only B and C are right. No, trihydroxypropane is not glycerol, arachidonic acid has 16, no, palmitic acid has 16 carbons, so first option is right, okay. So, 188, Allen's rule is polar C, physiological adaptation, so we leave behavioral adaptation is your desert lizard, biochemical adaptation is your kangaroo rat, so B is, to, uh, sorry, C is 2, So, C is 2. So, which one? Okay. So, D should be 1. So, option 1 is the right answer, right? So, 189. So, during muscular contraction, H zone disappears. No I band reduces in width. Myosin does this. So, this is right. So, A, C, D, E only are the right answer. How long it is taking us to solve? We are already in 190. Adaptive radiation is Darwin's finches. A is for bus. The answer is done. So, one, so 190 is done. So, reason and assertion. So, both the statements are right and it is absolutely the right explanation. So, which of the following is not an important component? Release of prolactin. So, that is not for initiation, right? So, 193. So, which of the following secretes relaxin? That is your corpus luteum, right? That is needed for uh, pregnancy. So, filariasis is your ucheria. So, A is 3, done. Was it tough? So, 195 MOET. So, MOET, you need FSH, not LHS. This is your incorrect option. So, 196 adenosine deamination is for the dysfunction of the immune system. So, which of the following about histone is, uh, is wrong? So, the pH of the histone is slightly acidic. No, it is basic because it consists of basic amino acid. So, here... Uh, statement 1 is incorrect, okay, and statement 2 is true. So, this is the right answer. So, here we go, last before. So, identify the type of joints to prevent leakage, tight junction, communication, gap junction. So, option 4 is the right answer. So, here we go to the last question about earthworm. Ma'am, earthworm was out of NCRT. You said everything is inside, uh, uh, inside NCRT. Hold on. Anyways, you had choice. So, this is not a reason you would give me. So, which of the following are the statements about the prostomium of the earthworm? So, uh, this is right and this is right. It is a type of sensory organ. So, option 2 is right. So, hardly 38 minutes we took to solve your 100 questions, right? So, I would suggest... For all those who did biology well, physics and chemistry bad and who are in a confusion as to what to do next, sit down and think. So, let me tell you a practical reality. So, the NEET exam, the next date when it will appear is not given. So, will you be patient enough to prepare till then? That is the next question, right? No, if you will not be patient enough, what is that you want to do now? Yes, life is not a path of roses. It is full of thorns as well. Roses come with thorns. So now it is your call to take a decision. So now it is too early, right? So now only we have seen the memories of your NEET exam. Yes, it was beautiful because we have done a good amount of preparation in biology. So I don't know about physics or chemistry. At least for biology, we have done a good amount of preparation, right? 
So, how do we go about next? So, tomorrow join me at 5 o'clock to talk about the plan A, what to do next after need, right? So, I will let you know what is plan A, plan B and plan C. And yes, nowadays I started getting messages, ma'am, does veterinary science have scope? Ma'am, does this have scope? Can I take nursing? Can I take paramedical? Yes, let me tell you, all the courses have scope provided you give your best. Okay, yes. So, please join me tomorrow at 5 p.m. to know what to do next. That is plan A, right? For all those who didn't do your NEET exam well, it's okay. It's okay to be not okay. So, stay strong, stay motivated. So, you are my students. So, I have given you dozens of motivation. So, don't just fall down with one single obstacle, right? So, I will come back today with a, uh, tomorrow with a lot of motivation and with a plan A. So, on Wednesday, we will be talking about plan B and then plan C. So, join me for all the sessions and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let your juniors and your siblings know about this channel, right? So, thank you so much for your support and have a splendid evening. So, this is me signing off and wishing you more and more. So, take care and bye.